your husband? Oh, you demon, leave my sister. What I do here? Huh? What I do? Speak out. Huh? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Huh? I'm drilling. What? What? I'm drilling. She's anointed. When you're anointed, you're not supposed to marry. Anointed. Who came with her? And the husband. Her? No one knows her. A husband is anointed. Huh? Yes. So she's anointed. We don't want her to get married. You no, know, when you are we, this time for big things, a marriage attacks. Marriage you will face attacks. You'll be surprised. Another one you've got this idea, another one, until you separate. So, how are you attacking them? The husband is useless. Huh? The husband needs, we make him to be useless. In which way? How can, if your husband is useless, the wife will be useful. If the wife is useless, the husband will be useful. Which way? How do you make a husband useless? She's, he's not working. Huh? He is not working. He's an engineer. So that's how you separate them? Yes. <laughs> how can you separate husband, engineer? I mean, it doesn't make sense. So there's too much here. How did you separate them? Explain. <laughs> huh? <laughs> if you're a wife, you're supposed to stand with your husband no matter what. There are times of trials where you need to support your husband with full force. Full force. If you're a wife, if you're a husband, by the time of trial, you need to love your wife. Love your wife like you are, in a way that, you know, I don't know how I can explain it. Even yourself, you won't explain it, but try it. You love your wife. You make sure that your wife, she's happy. No argument. Satan won't enter your bedroom. If you won't enter your bedroom, you won't enter your kitchen. If you won't enter your kitchen, you won't come to your sitting room. You chase Satan out by unity. So how do you separate them? The husband. We put the spirit of lust in him. The husband, spirit of lust in you. You know what's the spirit of lust? It's a spirit that causes stagnation. Once you embrace it, you are in one place. You don't grow in spirit, you grow in flesh. Live it. In Jesus' name. You demon. I want this lady to bring her husband here. After the husband is delivered, these people, God can end up using them. You are free, rise up. That's why I stopped here. Because marriage to me is important than, it's important than your car. Marriage is important than a house. Important than, Mary, even you can still stay together in a small shack. Mama, what's going on? We separated 2014. 2014. Who separated, you or your husband? No, he just went away. No, who separated? It's him. He just went away and left you. Yes. And said, does he love you? Yes. Did he say that? Huh? He even said I forced him to marry me. How did you force him? Did you give him a charm? No. Why, why he say that? I don't know. 
He huh? was okay after Lobola. Everything just changed. He prayed Lobola. Did you stay together? No. Oh, he didn't stay with you. He's married somewhere. No, he's not together. Together. We need to bring him here, this man. Do you have contact with him? Yes. Do you speak with him? I tried to call him yesterday, but he didn't. He's not responding. Yes. Yeah, it was a very good plan of the enemy. So do you still love him? Yes. Did you tell him? No. Huh? No, because of he didn't answer me correctly. Send a message to him. Now, right, take the phone. Send a message. The message you must send, if you ignore it, it's still going to be in one place forever. Because it's not you, it's not him, it's the demon that is fighting you. And you must stop this issue of pride. You've got too much pride. You. Well, this man is complaining about pride. Huh? So you don't listen, you do whatever you want. Just send a message. Say that you are in charis, and the uh, pastor said, Are we in a land? <laughs> because there's a purpose of God. We cannot live marriage like this. Pastor said, Let's come together. This will be an example to men. When you have a wife, Make your wife happy. Even yourself, when you see now your wife, your husband is making you happy, don't fool him. Don't fool him, respect him. Don't say the food is on the table. Ah, who put it on the table? Is there anybody who's cooking there? Don't ever say to your husband, the food is on the table. Ah, food is on the table. Who took the food there? The husband will try to check who brought the food. Will search for the one who will bring the food to himself. So don't ever say something like that. Pastor said, Are we Who was Sutu? Stwana. Stwana. White. Pastor said this. He will respond. He will really respond. And uh, yeah, I need to speak with this lady after church. I want this marriage to work. This was a demon. <laughs> Can you see this demon now? It's out. If I just leave, it will, that demon will find a way to come back. So pastor say, Arabi Huh? I didn't hear you clearly, Pastor. Yeah, you want to write exactly everything I say. I will not. I will not handle it. Oh, such a I I wrote, I'm in Charis. And um, you are in Charis. Pastor said. He, he deliver me. Pastor said, after he deliver me. Are we alone? Well, I will not remember that. And Liwe na muna akano rutlamo na vya no. You humble yourself. Wa ma piel. Wa kisha. Mutu asali feeling alimme. Wa piel amuna haris. Papa. That's So we're now are outside Did you appear? So from there, one day with Aliena, right. Outside, Baba, Antoine. 
ke monna ha o to fetu a o fetu la mo mpontso re o re ntwana ke tla mfonela after church o nkwishishile ne ke tla mfonela your marriage is from above so ka se tswele